Hello friends, today we'll take a tour around this beautiful planet. Actually, we'll be discussing its main problem, global warming, which is killing it. Now we have arrived to Antarctica, which is located at the very south pole of Earth. This photo is actually the good side of Antarctica, but now we'll see the weird side of it. Now I'll ask my fellow penguin friend Skipper to explain the issue. We are the penguins that are primarily affected by this uh, problem, the global warming, which is the unusual rapid increase in the Earth's average surface. And the temperature over the past century primarily due to the greenhouse gases released as people burn fossil fuels. And it's also it's caused by deforestation and natural gas drilling mainly, while it's affecting us by disappearing our glaciers that we are, that we are living on and the ice melt, which is causing many problems for us on our islands, and the water shortage is happening beside our place living areas. Finally, we've arrived to a desert in Africa, the seas of sand, and even though they are very hot, they got even hotter with global warming. Let's ask our friend Aladdin about the main causes and the effects of it. Hi everyone, actually global warming affected us in a really harsh way. This issue is increasing the incidence of drought, which dries water holes. Higher temperatures may produce an increasing number of wildfires that alert desert landscapes. These huge problems are often caused by, as soils become more arid, they will tend to be less able to sequester carbon from the atmosphere, and thus will contribute to climate change. Other forms of these actions also generally release CO2 into the atmosphere, such as deforestation over grazing by stripping the land of vegetation and wildfires. The greenhouse effect is the major cause of global warming and climate change, and it's very dangerous, but of course, not more than me. <coughs> Because I'm the one who knocks. Yo, Mr. White. Sam will now explain for us. Hi, today is today our problem is about the greenhouse gases, which they are defined that they are in Earth atmosphere that trap heat. They let sunlight pass through the atmosphere, but they prevent the heat that the sunlight brings from leaving the atmosphere. And they are mainly like water vapor and carbon dioxide. Also, they are were originally referred to as botanical gardens. This is because the same process that warms up the earth also takes place in a greenhouse, where the glass structure will capture the sunlight area under the glass will heat up. Also, this greenhouse effect can be caused by burning of fossil fuels like coal, coal, oil and natural gas have become an integral part of our life. Also deforestation and decrease in the population. Also, the greenhouse effects have a huge uh, effect on the poles, like the increasingly dense blanket of greenhouse gases is tapping heat and taking its toll on the planet, especially at the poles. And the global temperatures have increased since the 800s with models predicting their continued rise and sea ice has been decreasing in extent and thickness. And all of this is leading to our problem that we are facing today. Uh, that is the global warming that it can lead to a severe and dangerous effect on the earth and as shown in this uh, in this uh, paper the sun which is labeled by the circle that brings sunlight through the ozone layer and also the greenhouse gases that are on the earth's uh, atmosphere on the top they are the, uh, the ones that are responsible to capture gases and take them to the earth, which is causing our problem today. Hello everyone, our project today is to make greenhouse effect clearer. Our project includes a balloon, a lighter and flashlight. By the flashlight I, I show you that the balloon is only filled with air, air which is basically 
only CO2 and O2. It, this balloon represents our atmosphere that surrounds the Earth. The light represents the heat by the sun. The heat hits the atmosphere so it pops it. It pops it since it doesn't absorb any heat. And this is the main idea of greenhouse effect. In the second part of this experiment, we will let a balloon and fill it up with water and add some air. It's known that water can absorb heat a lot better than air, and this is the main cause of the greenhouse effect. The balloon will represent the atmosphere, the water is the oceans and seas, and the air is, well, the air, and the lighter will be the sun and its heat. You can clearly see that the atmosphere is burning, but not yet popping, because of the help of water. This is the main effect of global warming. A big hole in the ozone layer. Now, if I put the lighter on the air side, you'll see what will happen. Let's talk about the solutions, the most important part of every issue. First of all, you should follow the environmental triangle, reduce, reuse, and recycle. You should take care of your electrics when you can buy energy clean products and you should unplug your devices when you stop using them. And of course, you should either plant your own trees or help environmental associations by funding them. Yeah.